me teaching parallel circuits always makes my students laugh because I can never spell parallel right. So the important thing to remember parallel circuit as opposed to a serious circuit is that it has branches. There are loads of different like rows here and as opposed to a serious circuit you can't run your finger all the way around it without repeating going over things. So parallel circuit has branches. One of the most important things for you to remember about a, series, a circuit that is in parallel is that when we take the voltmeter readings, if we took a voltmeter reading across there and say it was uh, 1.5 volts, if we then move the voltmeter and take the reading across there, it would also be 1.5 volts. If again we moved our voltmeter down here, that would be 1.5 volts. And remember, with our voltmeter, we always have to have it in parallel, so it has to be across a component. So the rules, for, the rule that we can say for this is that the potential difference, the voltage, is the same in each branch. as it is in the cell or the battery up here. If we were to look at the current in each circuit, there's a slightly different situation going on. So if we were to look at the current in the first ammeter reading here and it was 2 amps and then this one might be 1 amp and then this one here would be down as 3 amps. The total current going in the circuit is the sum of all of them. So the current say the current is split among the branches and the, t the total current is the sum of all of the currents. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website, bromoskating.com, for any new videos, all the videos sorted by exam board, the blog, and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests, or um, corrections below.